Former Patriot Charger, Super Bowl champion Rodney Harrison says that the Patriots should trade for Matthew Stafford. First, Rod Wood says basically that they move on from Stafford when they feel like it. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Check out our Detroit Lions talk playlist for more videos like this. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the longer video. So I'm going to start back. I'm going to keep doing these longer videos. And maybe when we get a few topics, I just throw it all in one. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the longer content. But yeah, with Matthew Stafford um, and Rod Wood, I don't like Rod Wood speaking on roster personnel stuff. Speaking on Lions stuff. It, it just should be the business side. Like we coming back to 97 on the ticket. Or we going to do... Uh, uh, a renovation of the stadium or, you know, we added 10 more employees or he, he should just talk about business because he don't know shit about football. And with all the overhaul and renovations that Sheila doing, and it's looking to be a very, very smart move on what she's doing. One thing that's just hold me back other than her just being a Ford and they not just getting it done. If you don't know, since the Ford took over, the Ford took over, the Lions have been pathetic. They was a, a promising franchise, a championship winning franchise. And since the force took over, they just been the toilet of the NFL. And you want to root for Sheila and you hope for the best. No matter if you're the positive, negative fan or you're just the average Detroiter, you want the best for the Detroit Lions. You hope for the best. You pray for the best if that's what you believe in. You know, but then again, what just make you step step back to reality? Is a dude who don't even know what a first down is talking on personnel decisions. Oh, we'll move on. We read he's our guy. Look here. The one thing with NFL, with NFL that you got to learn, it's a business before personal feelings. And it's just personal feelings for them to keep Stafford, uh, you know, without drafting the quarterback this year. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, you know, it's personal. We can't draft a quarterback. Matthew's definitely going to come back. And that's the problem with the Lions is that, with Stafford and other and other players, they operate on I like you, I dislike you, Cole. And that's the issue. The number one thing with the Lions should be winning. If I like you or don't like you, you know, if I'm a manager and I know you work, you get the job done, that's all that matters at the end of the day. We ain't got to drink beers and get shots or, you know, I got to invite you to my wedding. No, let's get the job done. We can be cool all we want to, but you cannot do your job and suck at doing your job. Then you're going to have to go and the Lions and just operate on a personal feeling basis. That's what they operate on, on a personal feeling basis. We love Matthew. We, we're going to give Matthew the first half a billion dollar contract. That's what they operate on. And then you had this uh, buffoon speaking on real football decisions. That just take the little hope that I want to have that we're going to get this together. And, you know. And just say this to SOL. Look at him, dude. He don't know nothing. Ernie O'Cosey should be speaking. Chris Spielman should be speaking. Barry should be speaking. A scout should be speaking. I don't even mind Sheila speaking. Why is this idiot speaking? Don't nobody like Rob Wood. Nobody. He should just stay on the business side of football. And that just give you hope that it ain't going to happen. Now you ain't gonna see the Lions raise up that Lombardi trophy. Oh, we he's our quarterback and he's not going anywhere. And I'm okay with that. But just not coming from Rod. And if they don't want to, if they in a position to drive, let's say somehow to get Trevor Lawrence and they don't do it, it don't surprise me that Herbert's sitting there. Herbert would have been a number one draft pick last year had he came out. You got you got a number one talent right there. You had two number one talented talent guys to get. You could have got Tua. That should could have been the number one if he stayed healthy. And Herbert, that just lets you know they're operating on a buddy-buddy system. That's it. They're operating on a buddy-buddy system. They're not operating off of logic. This is why they don't win. We love Matt Millen. And we're going, come on. They're operating off of a buddy system. Oh, I like you. And you will never run a successful business with just having personal feelings. And Rod Wood is an idiot. He like the Quaker oatmeal man without his hat. Sheila, stop telling this guy to, or giving him the right to speak on football. And I just don't think this thing going to get right. Rod just gave me a bad vibe. Don't know nothing. Oh, we got to stick with Matthew. We don't care if they offer us Trevor Lawrence or Matthew. We love Matthew. 
And per and I wish they treated God. I wish they had the personal preferences towards Barry Sanders and Calvin Johnson and and, and Dominic and Sue. They don't love. They just man, come on. This this organization, man, just don't give me no hope, man. But let me know what you think on that part of the video. Let's get to Rodney Harrison said the Patriots need to tra trade for Matthew Stafford, and that you know basically saying Cam can't get the job done. All right, and it ain't even just th just that with Cam. The issue here is. It ain't that Cam can't get the job done. Cam ain't throwing to nobody. You heard that you trade for Matthew, and he said, Let's get a couple weapons. Why you just can't get a couple weapons with Cam? Who is Cam throwing to? You know, and Tom Brady, he supposed to be the goal. He's been throwing to nobody since he got there. Other than getting Randy Moss. You know, but, you know, if they want to ante up and, and pay the price, then we can send Matthew over there. But you can't send Matthew over there without a quarterback plan. And you say Chase Daniels and David Blog gon' 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 uh, run the franchise? Hell no. At all. You you want to go zero and sixteen again? But I don't mind trading Matthew Stafford. But then again, what's the plan? Is it Jameis? Is it Dwayne Haskins who's starting again in Washington? Is it um you know uh, Jimmy Garoppolo? Is it Jacoby Brissett? You know, is it you know I don't know Carson Wentz. You know, is it one of those guys, Daniel Jones? What is the plan if you trade Matthew Stafford? Because is it that you signed Cam Newton? Is that the plan? All I want to know, why everybody want to have a plan now <laughs> and get rid of Stafford now? They could have got a quarterback and made the transition. But I ain't mad at Rodney Harrison. I think that would be a good fit for Matthew Stafford over there. He played in the cold two times a year or four times a year. In, well, two times a year in Chicago and, and uh, in Green Bay. So that won't be no issue. But you got to get him some weapons. Matthew Stafford has been in Detroit. He hasn't. He had the defenses. He hasn't had the running game that New England has historically and recently game they had. They had. But you got to give him weapons. It's a proven fact that if you get Matthew Stafford, if you don't give him weapons, he's a pedestrian quarterback. And I'm not saying Cam ain't the answer. Cam ain't the problem. You over there throwing to Bird and some other guys we ain't never heard of. I mean, I don't get it. Why not add a uh, weapon to Cam Newton and see what happened? But if they want to pay the price of Matthew Stafford, and the thing about it is New England don't even draft well. New England don't draft well at all. You know, so, I mean, if they want to give us their second round pick for Matthew Stafford, third or fourth, but then again, Detroit got to have a plan. Like, New like Carolina had. They have better franchise than us. Well, let's get Teddy Bridgewater and sign him for a few years. Until we get the answer at quarterback, and if he the, if he the long term answer and a short term answer, or the short long, let's just keep him. The Lions going through these drafts, passing up on quarterbacks like Matthew Stafford has been successful. He has not been successful. He's been a failure in this system. Now are there quarterbacks that you could put in this system and they can throw out? Absolutely. You put Aaron Rodgers on this team with Calvin Johnson, some of the talent they had, he would at least had the Lions. With playoff wins and, 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 you know, to the NFC Championship, maybe even Super Bowl. You know, when they sit here and it's personal, you got to get the job. You got to get you got to get the guy for the job that's qualified. And Matthew Stafford ain't been qualified. Name another franchise that's going to allow it's any sport that's going to allow a, a guy to keep getting paid for 12 or 13 years. And he's a failure. And, 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 and he's been the integral interchange in the un, un the guy that hasn't been changed out the parts. He's been an issue. He's been a problem. Now, in, in, in Houston, he'd probably be the solution. In New England, he'd probably be the solution. In Tampa, he'd probably be the solution. But in Detroit, he's not the right guy for the job. And I've been saying this time and time again. He's not the guy for the job in Detroit. He's not. You need, a tra you need to find a transcending, transcending quarterback. Rodgers, Breeze, Brady. Lamar, Mahomes, you know what I'm saying? And the Lions just don't think Matthew Stafford the problem. And as long as they passing up on, on franchise quarterbacks and passing up on players, it's going to continue to be an issue. But, hey, Rob Wood is running the Detroit Lions now. So how confident do you feel about that? But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video request, all my social media links in the description. You want to make a donation to the channel, cash up, CJ Good 313 That's in the description. PayPal link in the description uh, as well. Other than that, man, keep sharing the videos. Best way to donate is share to the video. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Let me know what you think about Rob Wood 
you know what I'm saying? Stafford not going on with Rodney Harrison said trade him to the Patriots. One time for the one time we don't.